Kajabi does so much more than just host your website, podcast, coaching programs, or online courses. They even do email marketing as well. And just by using Kajabi in your business, now you don't have to pay for other tools like MailChimp, ConvertKit, Active Campaign, et cetera, et cetera. All of your email broadcasts and email sequences and collection of email addresses can be done inside of Kajabi. Today, I'm going to walk you through behind the scenes how to send out email broadcasts and even set up email sequences that are automated inside of Kajabi. If you want to take advantage of a free 30-day trial of Kajabi to play with the platform yourself, you can use my link profityourknowledge.com slash Kajabi. This is an affiliate link, so I get a small percentage of your investment in Kajabi, but there's no extra cost to you compared to if you went through Kajabi's website yourself. All this does is simply support me and this channel for referring someone to Kajabi. But when you sign up with my link, I'm gonna give you instant access to a course I created called Kajabi Kickstart, which is gonna help you set up and launch your online business with Kajabi in that first 30 days. On top of that, when you're inside of Kajabi Kickstart, you will have access to a free 45 minute coaching session with me where you and I both get to deep dive into your Kajabi account and I will be there to answer any questions you have about Kajabi, marketing, or even making your first sale with the platform. All of this is free and you can get instant access by going to profityourknowledge.com slash Kajabi or clicking the link down in the description. Without further ado, let's dive into Kajabi. To access your email campaign tab, we're going to want to go to marketing and then email campaigns. Right here, we're going to get this little dashboard where you can see all of the email campaigns that you have sent or email sequences, drafts, scheduled out emails. If you have a broadcast you want to send out next week or next month, etc. Uh, ones that you have already sent and then your sequences alone can all be categorized under here. Cool. So we'll just stick with all for now. This is an email sequence I had made uh, in a different example. But what we're going to do from here to create a new broadcast or email sequence is go up to new email campaign. And here we're going to have two options, broadcast or email sequence. The broadcast says send a single email to promote a product, share news or stay connected. That's just kind of your weekly emails or it could be daily depending on your business. The sequence is a little bit different. Send a series of emails that could be triggered by an automation. So we're going to start with an email sequence, and then I'll show you the email broadcast. We'll just call this, uh, I'm not going to call it test, actually. It was my other one. Uh, oh, no, it wasn't the other one. Test. We're going to stick with test just for now. Cool. So what's cool is whether it's a broadcast or an email sequence, you can decide which kind of uh, template you want to use here. They have a lot of really cool ones, a lot of pretty ones that are very useful for different types of campaigns that you could be running. I'm a very simple guy, so I like to just stick with the simple text template. I'm just going to roll with that. We'll click get started. Here you can see a little example of it, and uh, you can say click keep browsing if you want. This is like the showcasing a product. Keep browsing. Again, uh, even the simple one right here, you can add those other things like a countdown timer. You can add pictures, videos, whatever you want inside of these different emails. So we'll click get started. And again, we'll just call this uh, the test sequence for now. Obviously, I would name it something like the name of my product, welcome sequence or sales sequence, something like that. And what happens is as soon as somebody opts into a form, you can uh, really easily make it so as soon as somebody opts in, they get subscribed to this email sequence. And if you have multiple different types of email sequences, you can pick and choose which email sequence you want them to get connected to. All right. And this, that's how you can create automations, etc. <clears throat> so uh, if you like it, for example, if someone picks up a lead magnet and you want to have a welcome sequence for every new email subscriber that comes through, You'll have one email that's set for day one or day zero. I mean, that's like as soon as I opt in to get the lead magnet or workshop or whatever it is, then day zero, they get delivered that. When you create a new form down here, they're automatically going to get an email. You can set it up that way. So if you create a sequence that's completely separate, just leave it for day one, okay? Because they're already going to get that lead magnet delivered to them 
as soon as they opt in immediately. The next day, we're going to kickstart this email sequence. So you can change the internal title. This is just what you see. Uh, you can call it whatever you want just to help you remember. And you can decide what time you want to send this email in the email sequence. Here is the subject line. That's the subject in someone's email inbox. The preview text is just a little bit of extra text to kind of fill the whole entire um, subject line, basically. And then they can they can get like a sneak preview of the email, uh, whatever you want to add. If you want to extend your subject line, but you want to keep the main bold subject text uh, short, then you can leave that. So if it was like a, an interview, for example, you could say like interview as the subject text, just super simple. And then the preview text, you can write in some other stuff. All right. And what's cool is when you write a subject, if I said, um, sell selling, you know, or sell now or buy now, um, they're going to kind of give you some pointers. So it says capitalize less than 50% of the letters. And that's just Kajabi's AI trying to give you the best chance of landing in somebody's inbox. To change the actual email down here, you can click edit content. And again, I just chose the very simple one. So depending on the email, maybe I'll get rid of the button. Obviously, we want regular text. If you click here, you can enhance this, make it full size. That's what I like to do. And you can write whatever you want, or you can copy and paste the email sequence if you would like as well. And if you want to add anything else, you can go here, a countdown timer. Let's say you're doing a launch. You can do that, add your logo, image, a button, and it gives you a little example of what it would look like. Text and image, uh, an announcement. Okay, image and image. You can, yeah, you can kind of play around with this however you want. Customize it to your own look and feel. All right, so I'm going to leave that for now. I don't really mind. Here, you can always send a test email to yourself or to another email and save this as a template. I'll make a different video about templates. Uh, launch email editor. Okay, cool. So let's just say that I set everything up. I'm happy with this. I'll click save. And then we want to go back over here to test. And this is just giving us an overview of our email sequence. So again, if you were going to have an email sequence that gets triggered as soon as somebody opts in to pick up a lead magnet that you have or some sort of freebie, then you would have your first email done right here. And you can just go up here and click add new email. Again, what I do is I'll just go down here, click another simple text, and we'll just call this um, email two, just to keep things very simple right now. So it's going to take a second, install your template. Everything looks good. And you're going to run through the same exact process and do that for all five of your emails or three of your emails, whatever you want to do for that welcome sequence is going to get sent out to people. And as you can see, this is on day one, day two. If we want to click here, you can decide if this comes out on day three or day five, whatever you want to do. But as soon as you add a new email, it's automatically going to assume that you want it to come out the next day because it is an email sequence. Now, there are a handful of ways to make sure that this email sequence you're creating right here gets triggered to the right people. Uh, you can go inside of forms and make sure that there's like an automation button. You can click on automation and say when this form is submitted, then I want you to subscribe someone to this email sequence. That's one way to do it. Or you can click right here, add a new trigger, and it's going to give you the simple automation. So they go by when, then. So when something happens, then I want you to do this. So we'll go down and you can say when a form is submitted and then you can pick whatever form you want for whatever your lead magnet is or your webinar, anything. Let's say so when someone fills out my webinar uh, form, they get access to that webinar. I want them to get subscribed to this email sequence. Okay, if you are on the growth plan, which is the plan that I use, you get advanced email automations and that's right here. Uh, I'm not going to get too deep into that right now. When this form is submitted, the webinar test form, or it could be a couple different forms, then you want people to get subscribed to this email sequence. Very simple. And then you can do unsubscribe triggers as well if you want. So, you know, when the sequ sequence email is clicked <clears throat> or when someone buys a product, I think you can do that down. Yeah. An offer, an offer is purchased then unsubscribe them from this email sequence. So, you know, if you're going to offer a product in this, as soon as someone fills out the form, they get into this email sequence. If you offer a product, as soon as someone buys it, you don't want them to be getting more emails uh, from the automated sequence. You want it to cut, 
so it can register that this person already paid for this product. They don't need to get more marketing emails about the product. Okay. And then another cool thing is you can go to report and you can see in your email sequence, a full report of everything that's happening. So you can decide if this is a good email, if this is a bad email, maybe the copy needs work, et cetera. This is like an email funnel that we have right here. So however many emails you have, it's going to lay them all out. It's going to tell you what the subject line is. I didn't write a subject line, so it's just saying subject, what day it's going out, the subject, and it's going to show you how many people uh, have gotten the email, how many were sent to people, how many clicked, how many actually opened, how many unsubscribed. So if you're getting it, it's sent to a ton of people, they're clicking on the email, they're opening it, and uh, or actually, yeah, they're opening it, and then they're unsubscribing, and like everybody's unsubscribing, you know that something's wrong with that email, okay? Or if no one's clicking on it, and you're getting a nice amount of traffic, then you know, okay, maybe I need to adjust the copy, I can change this, and you can see where people are falling short inside of your sequence. So that is email automations. Now we can go back to email campaigns, and we have our automation right here, our email sequence. We're gonna go to new email campaign. Now we'll click on email broadcast. Click continue, and we'll scroll down to whatever one you wanna decide. This is just like a regular weekly email that we'll send. So I'm just gonna stick with my regular, and we'll just do broadcast test. Okay, create new. Now it's all set. This is my partner's account, so it says I have no subscribers yet. When you start getting subscribers, it'll tell you how many overall subscribers you have. Uh, when you send out a broadcast, now that we made that email sequence, it's important to think about this. You can send it to all your contacts, and I did this for a long time until I realized, wait a second, I'm getting people into my email like sequences and my funnels, and I don't want to interfere with those emails. You know, I want them to just stay in the funnel and only focus on that. So what you can do to make sure that the people who've already gone through your funnel uh, or who are not actively in that email sequence, so let's say we just created, you'll click right here and you can decide all contacts, only customers if you wanted to, or you can do a custom segment. So we're only gonna send a broadcast to, we'll scroll down, email sequence filters. People who are not subscribed to an email sequence and let's say that we don't want people to go in that test one that we had just made because that's for a separate product. We want only the people that are in that email sequence to just get those emails. We don't want them getting a, a broadcast about new content or new update in the business unless that is what you want to do. So as soon as you kind of decide what your segment is, you'll hit apply and you can save a segment too, which is really helpful if you know that there's going to be a lot of people constantly inside of that um, that sequence that you have set up when they opt in to go through a sequence. And um, yeah, you can kind of save that segment. Very helpful. Click save and continue. <clears throat> and then from here, looks exactly the same. It is the same. You can click edit content, change your subject line, all of this. Save and continue. Oh, again, we'll just say test. And then from here, you'll see an option where you can schedule your email. So you can either say, send it right now, or you'll be able to see something that says uh, you can schedule it for a later date and you can pick the date and time or dates. Yeah. Usually if you have, yeah, it's just the date and time, and then it will send out at that time. All right. But that's all there really is to email broadcast. The biggest thing is when you have people on your email list, just nurture them, give them awesome content, make some offers, give them an opportunity to work with you. But most importantly, focus on building a quality relationship. If you like what you saw here, you dig the email sequence and broadcast feature inside of Kajabi and you wanna get a hands-on feel of Kajabi for yourself, that's the best way to see if it really is the best fit for you. Consider checking out my link, profityourknowledge.com slash Kajabi. Down in the description, you can get a 30-day free trial plus a course to set all this up for you and walk you through exactly how to make sure everything is nice and streamlined. And then you'll also get a one-to-one -one coaching call uh, with me. If you have any extra questions about sending out emails inside of Kajabi or email sequences, let me know in a comment below and I will do my best to answer it. And if it makes sense, I'll make another video going into a bit more depth. I'll see you in the next one.